Air Canada is getting a major aid package from the federal government worth up to $5.9 billion. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more on this. Uh, so Haley, what exactly does this deal mean both for the consumers, uh, the government and Air Canada? There's so much here to unpack. The vast majority of that funding will come in the form of low interest loans and Air Canada will have to pay a large portion of that back. Interestingly, Ottawa taking a big equity stake in Air Canada valued at about 6% of the company by buying $500 million worth of shares. Some of the things that Air Canada is going to have to do in exchange for this financing they'll need to repay customers who purchase non-refundable fares at some point post February 2020 or even before, but were unable to use those tickets as a result of the pandemic. Air Canada will make refunds available as of today in Ottawa, actually helping them out with some financing for that. The airline also agreed to keep on 15,000 employees and to restoring certain routes specifically around regional access. All right. And another story that you're following today has to do with a major American pension fund that is uh, restricting investments in the oil sands. Um, I guess first off, tell us a little bit more about that, but also the impact this could have on the sector. That's right. I think it's going to be a bit of a difficult road ahead for certain resource sectors if they haven't demonstrated that they're committed to transitioning to a low carbon economy. And that's exactly what New York State's pension fund, the third largest public pension fund in the U.S., had to say. They're going to be selling off more than seven million U.S. dollars in securities in six Canadian companies, including Husky Energy, Cenevis and Imperial Oil. This isn't the first time we've seen this kind of a move from a large institutional player or investor. And this particular fund is reviewing all kinds of holdings, but will continue to review its holdings in certain sectors, including in the oil sands. All right. We will see if others might follow suit uh, as well. Haley, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Sonia.